Hi there, uh, my name is Marvin and today I'm going to show you how to build a log bridge with a chainsaw winch. Here in Canada there are many trails that need log bridges across them, but they're way in the middle of the backcountry. So there's no electricity, no tractors, and you need to get these logs across the creek with your own hands or with a chainsaw and a chainsaw winch. So we have uh, cut down a tree over here. You can see this poplar tree. Uh, about uh, 12 inches diameter one end and about 18 inches the other end. And we have a logging chain attached to it. And then over here, uh, we have, back here we have a blue tarp that's two meters wide. That represents a stream. We cannot touch it because of concerns over fish habitat. And then up in the tree we're going to have a tree saver. And uh, the, from the logging chain on the log will go the cable across the creek and then up to the tree saver uh, which will have a pulley in it and down to a chainsaw winch on the other tree. So here's a chain, here's a, a tree saver belt. It's rated 5,100 pounds in choker configuration. That's going to go up in the tree. And next thing is a chainsaw winch. It's a Lewis winch with uh, MS-291 steel chainsaw, a 2,000 pound uh, pulling capacity limited by the horsepower of the engine. And uh, this is the snatch block or pulley, rated one and a half tons. Uh, all items in this sort, of this, uh, this sort of activity have to be rated. Do not use any unrated stuff. And this will be up in the tree saver. Okay, talk to you soon. So, First step is to cut the tree down. Uh, I've felled a tree over here, the poplar tree, but often you're using uh, spruce or pine or fir in the back country. And uh, you cut the tree down, you can winch it over with the chainsaw winch, you'll see that soon, and then debark it. So the next step is debarking. Here's a debarker that has been uh, installed on my uh, steel chainsaw, the pulley, nice guard to keep your hands safe. And this uh, planer end here goes at about 9,000 RPM, so it will quickly take the bark off of this big poplar tree. Okay, here goes. Okay, here goes. Hello, this is the traditional method of debarking a log. This is a draw knife and it works as well. So now we're going to see how well it works. Next to the area that I use the debarker on. It's a little bit hard on your fingers. And if you hit a knot, it's going to be a big problem. Definitely goes slower, but it still works. It's easy to keep us uniform diameter. Okay, so now that we've debarked the tree, um, the next step is to pull it across the creek and put it on a sill. So that log sideways on the other side of the creek is going to be made into a sill. I cut a little um, notch in it. This tarp going left right is uh, two meters wide in the direction towards the sill and that represents a creek. Uh, there's concern about damaging fish habitat so we cannot touch the creek while pulling the uh, log over the creek.
This is a, a video of how you lift the end of the log onto a bridge sill. So we have a jack all on the left and we have a Ford F-250 jack on the right, a bottle jack, rated about three to 4,000 pounds. We have the logging chain um, wrapped several times around and uh, snatched onto itself. So we're going to lift it now. Okay, so now we have the bridge sill in the foreground, uh, the temporary one, temporary sill underneath the log, and we're about to jack it up for the second height to get the sill underneath. Um, so here goes. Hey there, okay, so now we lifted up the second uh, height, and the bridge sill has been pushed under the end of the log in the foreground. And then now we'll drop the jack hole on the left and the bottle jack on the right, and uh, there now the log is on the sill. Hi there, okay, so now we have pulled the log up towards the creek. Uh, we've used this 4x4 uh, 12 foot long uh, timber to, with a, a little log to lift it up. We put it on this uh, temporary bridge sill. We're going to cut two vertical slots in it to keep the sill from sliding across the creek when we pull the log across the creek. And, or you can use the method that I've shown elsewhere in this video to lift it with uh, two jacks. There. Okay, so now I've cut these two notches in this uh, construction roller. The uh, reason for the notches is so these rebar that we've pounded into the ground, they're half inch rebar, probably a foot in the ground, they will keep, they fit into these notches and then this, when the log is pulled across the creek, then it doesn't pull the log into the creek. The, the sill into the creek. Um, so you can pull the main bridge up to the edge of the creek and lift it with jacks as I show you elsewhere and then slide this log in and then forward towards the creek into the slots and then drop the uh, stringer onto this sill. Now we're going to show uh, the log being pulled across a creek and not touching this precious uh, fish bearing habitat.